Ring brazing is an important step in the manufacturing of catheter assemblies. Doing it correctly requires skill and care. Correct brazing will help create a product that is effective and safe for patients. Brazing uses an open flame, and of course, that flame is hot. Always keep this in mind as you work. Make sure the exhaust vent is open prior to starting work. Keep your station neat with each item in the right place. This will help you work safely and efficiently. Step by step. Let's start with an overview of the steps for ring brazing. We will then go over each step in depth. First, wind wire onto the spool. Place the leading end of the wire onto the ring holding fixture. Make a bend at the end of the wire. Place a ring on the ring holding fixture. Turn the screw and open the fixture to securely hold the ring. Apply flame to remove wire insulation. Make sure the wire is placed firmly against the ring wall. Apply brazing paste along the wire. Use flame to liquefy the brazing paste. When you have five assemblies done, clean them in the ultrasonic cleaning tank. Then inspect the assemblies for defects. Step 1. Spool Wire For our first step, slide one spool onto the spooling shaft and rotate until it clicks into place. Pull the wire taut and wrap it counterclockwise around the spool. Then secure the wire, keeping it tight, into the spool notch, leaving one or two inches of wire extending out of the notch. Push the start button to start the spooling cycle. Step 2. Position Wire Now place the leading end of the wire on the ring holding fixture using the piano wire. Step 3. Bend wire. Using tweezers, form a slight bend that is approximately 2 to 5 millimeters long in the wire. The bend will create more area for the wire to bond to the ring. Step 4. Place ring. Place a ring on the ring holding fixture. Step 5. Open fixture. Open the ring holding fixture by turning the screw until the fixture is securely holding the ring. Use the fixture to help hold the wire against the inside of the ring. Step 6. Remove insulation with flame. Apply the torch flame to the top middle of the ring to remove the insulation from the wire. Insulation should not be melted away or burned back more than half the height of the ring. Step 7. Place wire against ring wall. Ensure the stripped wire is snug against the ring wall so they are firmly touching. This will help create a strong connection. Step 8. Apply brazing paste. Aim the tip of the dispensing syringe along the underside of the bent wire. Press the foot pedal to dispense the right amount of brazing paste. Only press the foot pedal once. Use the tip to spread the brazing paste as needed. Look at the ring to ensure the solder dispenser dispensed the correct amount of paste. To figure out what is just right, look at the left half of the ring holding fixture. If the paste covers less than 25% of the area, that is too little or insufficient. Scrap the ring. If the paste covers more than 50% of the area, that is too much or excessive. Scrap the ring. The goal is to cover 25 to 50% of the area with brazing paste. This is just right. Step 9. Liquify brazing paste. 
Now, apply the torch flame to the middle of the ring on the same side as the wire until the paste becomes liquid. Apply the flame just enough to start melting the paste and then pull it away. Remember, you can reapply the torch to fully melt the paste. However, do not add more paste. We are aiming for just the right amount of heat to fully melt the paste and create a smooth, shiny joint. The paste will fill the area between the ring and wire. Too much heat will make the joint look darker and will make the joint weaker. Too little heat will make the joint look rough and not shiny. This will also make the joint weaker. Step 10. Clean Assemblies When you have five assemblies done, clean them in the ultrasonic tank. Set the timer for 30 seconds. Dip all five assemblies approximately one to two inches deep into the solution. Start the timer and remove assemblies after a minimum of 30 seconds. While the assemblies are being cleaned, start spooling and brazing the next five assemblies. Next, dip the assemblies into the deionized water tank and lightly stir. Remove the assemblies from the water and blot dry. Step 11. Inspect for defects. Now it's time to inspect your work. Scrap the piece if you see defects. For the visual inspection, set the microscope magnification dial to 1.2. This is what we are looking for. The brazing paste should have a smooth, shiny appearance, showing it was completely melted but not overheated. If the paste is clumpy, it was underheated. If the braze and or the wire is darkened, then it was overheated. Scrap the part if you see a gap between the wire and ring, even if the gap is filled with braze paste. The wire should be flat against the inside of the ring. Also reject if the wire tail is longer than approximately 5 millimeters. Scrap the part if there is braze paste on the outside surface of the ring. Ensure the wire insulation was not melted away or burned back more than half the height of the ring. This shows an acceptable level of burn back. This burn back is too much. If the ring is damaged or squashed, scrap it. Handle the rings gently to avoid damaging them. Let's review the brazing process. First, wind the wire onto the spool. Now, place the leading end of the wire on the ring holding fixture and make a bend at the end of the wire. Place a ring on the ring holding fixture, turning the screw to open the fixture so it will securely hold the ring. Apply flame to remove wire insulation. Make sure the wire is placed firmly against the ring wall. And then apply brazing paste along the wire. Use the flame to liquefy the brazing paste. Clean the assemblies in the ultrasonic cleaning tank and inspect the assemblies for defects. With practice and attention to detail, you will become skilled at ring assembly. Together, we will continue to deliver the highest standard in quality and safety for each device and each patient.